Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Thursday, July 20th, 2023. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. On the morning of July 15th, 2023, police on Nevis received reports of a hit and run traffic incident in the New River area. At that time, preliminary investigations revealed that Florence L. Merchant, an elderly lady of Hickman's, had been seriously injured in the incident. She was subsequently transported to the Alexandra Hospital for further examination and treatment. Regrettably, Ms. Merchant succumbed to her injuries on July 17th, 2023. A press release from the Royal St. Christopher and the Nevis Police Force says presently there is one person in custody assisting police with the investigation. To date, no member of the general public has come forward to formally assist. The police continues to ask for the public's assistance as they aim to resolve this matter in a timely and efficient manner. The police also ask for patience, restraint and understanding as they continue to investigate the incident. The Royal St. Christopher and the Nevis Police Force expresses condolences to all who have been negatively impacted by this traumatic occurrence. The Caribbean Community CARICOM has extended its sympathies to the government of St. Kitts and the Nevis on the death of the country's former Governor General, Sir Samuel Weymouth Tapley Seaton. CARICOM's message of condolence notes that Sir Samuel demitted office in January 2023 after having served as Governor General since 2015. He is remembered as a legal luminary who was one of the architects of the Constitution of St. Christopher and the Nevis. He ha also has a keen sense of civic duty, lending his wide-ranging experience and insight as director or chair to several industry boards and to the development of young people by way of the Sinkis and Nevis National Youth Parliament Association. His outstanding service led to the distinction of being named Commander of the Royal Victorian Order, CVO, in 1985, and a Knight Grand Cross of the Most Distinguished Order of St. Michael and St. George, GCMG, in 2015. The community salutes his commitment to nationhood. May his soul rest in peace. Meantime, citizens and residents from across St. Kitts and Nevis, including Governor General Her Excellency De Marcella Lybird, National Hero, the Right Excellent and Right Honorable Sir Kennedy Simmons, Cabinet Ministers and Senior Government Officials on Wednesday, July 19th, signed the official Book of Condolence in honor of the late Sir S. W. Tapley Seaton, former Governor General of St. Kitts and Nevis. Sir S. W. Tapley Seaton, who died on June 29, 2023, served as the Federation's first Attorney General after independence from 1983 to 1995 and the fourth Governor General of St. Kitts and Nevis from 2015 to 2023. The Book of Condolence was also placed at Government House during the laying in state on Thursday, July 20th. The state funeral with full military honors for the former Governor General was held on Thursday at the Zion Moravian Church on Victoria Road, Bastia, St. Kitts. Thursday, July 20th was declared a National Day of Mourning by the Government of St. Kitts and Nevis and a national half-holiday for the public and the private sectors to honour the life and contribution to the nation of the late Sir Tapley Seaton. Still to come, mass casualty training course kicks off in St. Kitts and Nevis. Details after this break. Welcome back. The Nevis Historical and Conservation Society, NHCS, is hosting a series of open days at the Bath Hotel for the public. Persons can visit the building and see the progress of the works to date. There will be exhibitions, African drumming, masquerade, and more. 
Most importantly, it will be an opportunity for Nivishan citizens and residents to learn more about the history of the Bath Hotel, Bath Stream, and share ideas about the future of the historic and iconic monument. The open days are Monday 24th and Tuesday 25th July, as well as Thursday 10th and Friday 11th August from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. The NHCS received funding through the U.S. Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation at the end of 2022. In partnership with the NIA's Ministry of Tourism, the NHCS commenced the urgent conservation of the historic and iconic Bath Hotel in January of 2023. Works are expected to be complete by December 2023 with a launch of a special exhibition about the history of the Bath Hotel, the restoration works, and historic preservation. For further information, contact the director of the NHCS, Dr. Kamara Luizzi, at 469-5786. The Ministry of Health, in collaboration with the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, has begun the Mass Casualty Management System training course on St. Kitts and Nevis. This initiative, which spans the course of a week, is an all-inclusive endeavor aimed at increasing the health sector's capacity to adequately provide services during a mass casualty event. The course is being facilitated by Peter Burgess, PAHO Regional Trainer and Senior Instructor in Mass Casualty Management, Incident Command and Emergency Care and Treatment. Participants in the comprehensive training course include representatives of the Royal St. Christopher and the Navy's Police Force, Community-Based Health Services, the Red Cross Society, the National Emergency Management Agency, the St. Christopher Air and Seaports Authority, as well as their corresponding counterparts based in Nevis. By facilitating the knowledge sharing and collaboration between these key stakeholders, the aim is to build a more unified, informed, and effective response team. The collective wisdom and the shared experience will underpin the systems and protocols to be developed and refined over the course of the training week. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing. Tune in to NNC on MTV. Don't worry if you don't have cable either. NNC will bring the news to you wherever you are. Facebook and Facebook Live. YouTube and YouTube Live. NevisTVOnline.com. Roku app, NTV mobile app, Smart TV, Apple TV, and any other IPTV platforms. When me ain't see and you ain't see, NNC.